Isla was diagnosed with high-risk neuroblastoma on her first birthday. Uh, the day before, um, she'd become very unwell, but she hadn't been well for a few months. Um, we took her to the doctors and it escalated from there. We went to our local hospital and they ran some scans. And next thing we knew, we were in an ambulance on the way to Great Old Street Hospital. Everything just changed on that one day and it hasn't been the same since. We had to live at Great Ormond Street Hospital for a very long time. We had our son Finn, who was also very young. Lottie was still at home. We had to have grandparents come in to look after them as me and Anna spent most of our time in hospital. It really sort of tears the family apart in terms of we can't be together. Isla and I lived in Great Ormond Street pretty much for the last sort of two years. For Isla, Great Ormond Street was her home. She didn't know any different. She was happy there, she was really happy there. It never phased her, she made things a lot easier for us. We found out about the vaccine uh, that was available in New York through, through the community and the doctors in Great Ormond Street Hospital. We just spoke to different people, different charities, got in touch with Solving Kids Cancer. When we realised that she could get into the trial in New York, we only had three to four months to get her out there. And as any parent would, would tell you, you just want to do the best for your child. So to get Isla to New York for treatment, we needed to raise 155,000 in a very short amount of time, which is extremely daunting, but we just couldn't let money stop us and be our hurdle. I heard about the retail trust through my managing director at Habitat. I went to see her and just said, I need some help. What can we, what can we do at work? And she said to me, um, have you heard of the retail trust? And she said, uh, speak to James Geller, who's a former colleague of ours that we knew very well. So I instantly dropped him an email and said, hi James, this is my situation. And he already knew, which was, which was really good. And very quickly, I, I got a phone call saying, this is Neil from the Retail Trust. Um, we would like to help you. The support we got from the Retail Trust was fantastic. And they helped spread the word of Isla's campaign. They set up fundraising pages and that money really gave us a boost for her campaign to get us out to New York for the trial. Isla's treatment involves five trips to New York and currently we've done um, all but one trip so we can see light at the end of the tunnel and it's a phenomenal year what we've been through really. And we're all just happy to be at home. We're looking forward to having Christmas, Easter, birthdays. We've missed so many. Finn, Lottie and Isla, all three of them have lived a very different life to what children should be living. Now they've got a taste of normality and taste of fun and they're just excelling really. I'd just like to thank the Retail Trust for, for the help they've given us and, and the support um, and raising the awareness in, in the retail community. It's been of a, of a huge help. We've got that kind of support behind us and we're just not alone and the charity has just been fantastic for us. Thank you.